In this installment, we're going to be going over the draft day winners at the running back position. This is going to start a series going through each and every position group. Right now, we're going to start off with the running backs. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Chef D, and I'm here to give you the winning ingredients for your draft day winners of the running back position. We're going to be looking at all the running backs that are going to be looking really good for your fantasy football season's upcoming um, draft day. Capital is very, very important. And all the situations where we were concerned about some teams going to that running back position, things look a little bit clearer now going into the next season with all the decisions that were made on draft day but before i deep dive into that guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel make sure you follow me on instagram and twitter at mets Nets, jets d don't forget about that tiktok at chef underscore d 91 and don't forget about the patreon because we are absolutely smashing it right now guys um you need to get signed up you need to get signed up ride the wave all the futures are in there for the nba you just got to scroll down a little bit uh, last night was phenomenal with the upset of the 76ers over the Boston Celtics. We had that. We also had 76ers and Denver Nuggets combination. Uh, we had Denver Nuggets by itself uh, right there. And we also had uh, the 76ers and Nuggets to win straight up as well. Not only that, the night before prior, we had the Los Angeles Lakers beating the Golden State Warriors. Uh, we had... Los, Lakers, Los Angeles Lakers money line by itself. We paired that with the Miami Heat, as you can see right there. The the tickets are here. I even had an under bet on Jared Vanderbilt because hey, we know he's getting he's not getting much minutes because they're getting more minutes to Lonnie Walker and guys are just falling behind. And this is a perfect time to get value here. Uh, we had, I showed you Jared Vanderbilt around, and then Austin Reeves came through ten for seventy three right there. Um, in that home game so we're totally killing it on patreon get signed up right now that link is down below for our draft day winners the first guy we're going to talk about is jameer gibbs of the detroit lions he was picked uh 12 overall in that first round and this was a first a skeptical decision because obviously they have deandre swift that was a clear notice to the nfl and to the pretty much DeAndre Swift, that you are no longer wanted on that team. Jameer Gibbs uh, stepped into a situation where it was a three-back committee with him, David Montgomery, and DeAndre Swift. Swift was just recently traded to the Philadelphia Eagles. And now you got all that draft capital here in the first round at pick 12. Gibbs is looking like a stud this season in fantasy, all right? So, he has that 4-3 speed, 92nd percentile in the speed score as well. And if we're looking at a key component here, the reason why the Detroit Lions love them, the Jets even love them, they compared, uh, they considered uh, coming up and getting him. A, a lot of teams were looking at Jameer Gibbs as that next Alvin Kamara. He's best comparable to C.J. Spiller. We know how explosive C.J. Spiller is, and Jameer Gibbs has that ability. But the key component here is his college target share. 93rd percentile of pretty much a 15 percent target share and this is a running back on that alabama team jameer gibbs is a stud for this year we're looking at his previous seasons at georgia tech and um alabama alabama here we have receiving yards of 303 465 and 444 receptions increased each and every year 24 35 and 44 we already know the rushing upside he increased his rushing production each year from 460 to 746 926 and you saw the touchdowns 7 6 and 10 jameer gibbs is a clear winner for your drafts this season this is definitely someone you can currently get right now adp right now is 46.8 and it's rising as you can see that plus 21.9 he was going around that 70 uh, range but now he has moved up towards that third and fourth round um in your fantasy football draft so take advantage of it right now before it continues to rise Number two in our draft day winners will be Atlanta Falcons draft pick B. John Robinson here. This man out of Texas. This was a perfect location. This one, this guy 
always has been one of the one of the go-to running backs that was going to go first off the board. He did at pick number eight to the Atlanta Falcons and Arthur Smith. We understand the connection of Arthur Smith to the running back Derrick Henry. He loves his lead alpha back, and he got him in B. John Robinson. There was no way he was going to pass up this opportunity, and that's why his current ADP is 12.4. It has risen 6.11 spots. It was around that 18, 19, 20 range, and now he's he's creeping up on that first round. By the time we get to draft day uh, season in the summer, he's going to be going in the first round pretty high okay best comparable to marshawn lynch that was a very nice comparison but this high this guy has the speed and pass catching ability combination all in one and look at the last two seasons with texas absolutely outstanding 1500 yards rushing 20 touchdowns in 2022 Chipped in with the receiving production, 314 yards, 19 receptions as well. The previous season, 2021, came through with another 1,000-yard rushing year, 15 touchdowns, and chipped in with about 26 receptions, 295 receiving yards. So, Brijan Robinson is a stud in that Arthur Smith mold there. He's going to be worth his draft capital because they need to build around Desmond Ritter, and there's nothing better other than a wide receiver that can help Desmond Ritter with, um, besides a running back that is going to get you in situations where it's going to be third and short and third and manageable, and that's going to help succeed this Atlanta Falcons offense and the the ability of Desmond Ritter, okay, at the quarterback position. They're all in on him. And now, as you can see, they're all in on Bijan Robinson. Selection number three, we have Roshan Johnson out of Texas. This is the backup to Bijan Robinson, and he was a great compliment to what Bijan Robinson provided on the field. And now he has an opportunity with the Chicago Bears to become that number one running back. He's a great winner of that draft day here. Going over to the Chicago Bears was more of a run first team anyway, since they do have their quarterback in Justin Fields. And Roshan Johnson has the size six feet, 220 pounds. Nice little speed and power combination we got here. Got a little bit of better draft capital out of the whole running back group here. In Early in the fourth round, they went and got Roshan Johnson. That was a big sign there. Um, in this backfield, currently, if we're looking at the depth chart of the Chicago Bears, they do have Donta Foreman, um, who's only getting paid $1.5 million. So there is no strings attached there pretty much with Donta Foreman. And then Khalil Herbert, who's very cute. We do like him. We liked him last year. Uh, he's very productive, but he is a sixth round running back. Roshan is a fourth round, early fourth round running back here and has the upside to become that number one option. He played behind Bijan, so he is no not shy uh, going up, up, uh, going up against high competition here. And I expect him to win this job somewhere mid-range in the season. And as long as the season goes along, he's going to be emerging as the number one running back in this offense, okay? Very productive uh, behind Bijan Robinson. Uh, was there. He has catching ability, as you can see, 11, 14 um, in the last past two years, has solid rushing numbers, 569, five touchdowns in 2021, 554, and six touchdowns um, in 2022. So this man is a very, very dynamic uh, running back here and someone that we should look towards later in our drafts as his current ADP is 110 and rising. So Go get you Roshan Johnson later in that round 10, 11 range. He's going to be there, all right? Our number four selection will be J.K. Dobbins, all right? In 2021, he experienced a knee injury, and that's why, obviously, he did not play. And a lot of guys were down on J.K. Dobbins in 2022. That's why he was RB57. But he finished the season very strong, looking like his old self from that 2020 season where he got drafted in the second round at pick 23 all right this guy has great measurables and metrics 99th percentile uh 40 yard dash 96 percentile speed score he has uh, like the ray rice 
type of feel there where he has a very small in stature but has very good power and speed combination his adp is rising right now currently at 52.7 but i expect him in that baltimore ravens offense to improve all right as you can see in 2022, only 520 yards. Obviously, he was recovering from the knee injury and then finished strong. And then in 2020, in his rookie year, had 805 rushing yards and chipped in with a few receptions. I expect J.K. Dobbins to take it to a whole nother level. He's going to have his best career year this season coming up in 2023. With the additions, the fact that they got Lamar Jackson back, they added Zay Flowers to the wide receiver court in the, in the draft. They added Odell Beckham Jr. and Rashad Bateman is coming back healthy not along to go with mark andrews so this total wide receiver core um and lamar jackson combination is only gonna benefit the running game okay things are gonna open up you can't guard both and dobbin should have a very good season i love where he's going right now in drafts it's a huge value go get you jk dobbins this season in best ball and in fantasy football drafts our fifth guy will be Joe Mixon of the Cincinnati Bengals. A lot of concerns here that Joe Mixon was going to get cut during free agency. And now it came up to the draft. Would the Cincinnati Bengals draft a running back with high draft capital to compete with Joe Mixon and possibly supplant him? But they did not, okay? Um, on the, the books right now, okay there's 12 million dollars that joe mixon is due to be paid so this is one of the key reasons why they wanted to keep their investment in him it's like it wasn't like he was a horrible running back last year just a lot of complaints of in short yardage situations um joe mixon and the fact that they didn't use him a hundred percent to his capabilities you wish that they give joe mixon uh the ball just a little bit more but he was rb10 last year not too much that we can complain about and his current adp is 68.9 so you're getting value on joe mixon all right so you get value on him the fact that there is no competition that they drafted in the draft uh last week joe mixon's looking like someone that you can definitely go get in that uh, uh running back dead zone and someone that can provide top 15 and possibly top 10 running back upside yet again okay so joe mixon definitely look towards him look at the numbers last year 826 rushing yards uh the key component here was the upside he provided in the receiving game 60 receptions 441 yards and nine touchdowns uh provided you 16 fantasy points per game that's solid production going late now pretty much in that round six seven range joe mixon is looking like a stud go get him this year last but not least we have tony pollard of the dallas cowboys we've been waiting for the opportunity for him to take over the reins in dallas zeke elliott obviously has fallen off and now the decision that the cowboys made in that draft only getting deuce farm pretty late so they, they have some other guys malik davis and some other late running backs but no one that's going to compete with tony pollard all right deuce Vaughn is more of a, he's a smaller back so he's going to just compliment tony pollard there and if anything they might get a veteran running back maybe we even bring back zeke yet again but the breadwinner here is tony pollard that's why he was rb8 last season and now with no competition here that's the reason why his adp is at 24.5 and continually to rise this is someone that you need to go grab in that second round with his upside in this dallas cowboys offense that they provided weapons for Dak prescott and now you have Tony Pollard as the number one running back. The upside is very huge. He came through very solidly last year, a thousand yards rushing, always efficient with yards per carry, 5.2 last year, and then provided receptions, 39 and 371 receiving yards with 12 total touchdowns. I expect the rushing attempts to go up and the receptions to go up this season. So Tony Pollard is a clear winner from draft day. Love Tony Pollard. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Those are going to be the draft day winners at the running back position. Next, we're going to go up uh, with the wide receivers. So stay tuned to that. And guys, don't forget about that Patreon if you want winning picks. All right, we're going to be finishing the NBA uh, playoffs very strongly and then be rolling in to uh, baseball and obviously fantasy football and best ball season. Get tuned in right now and click that link down below, all right? Peace out.